Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, taking some more AMC and A. In today's video, I want to be talking about the AMC algorithm bounce and the short term target, how firms are resetting the FTDs and how they are hiding buy orders, and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC and A. Now, Taking a look at AMC, we are up another 3.14% at 592. And that's exactly what we talked about in the Sunday video in terms of what we want to see with AMC. As we see, AMC fought for control above the zone or below the zone, and of course, buyers won. And that's why we continue seeing that momentum. And just like you guys can see here, we rejected this 596 or more exact, we rejected the $6 to 596 zone, which is why we're seeing price rejecting. Now, in terms of looking at this, it's still a very good day. We've broken that high that was created back during the 14th of April. We are going on a new momentum. So everything is looking very, very good. And in terms of the buy momentum, we are just facing some resistance at 5 96 but obviously if we are able to break above it like i already highlighted there was going to be resistance but if we are able to obviously break above it then what we're going to be seeing is that movement towards that upper level coming in at the 687 and 703 and that's if we can get a break above the 596 however something we do have to watch out whilst the technical analysis is of course saying that it's of course got buying momentum. It's of course seeing a reversal. We do have to watch out that we do have the earnings for AMC coming out on the 5th of May, which is tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this video. And again, this is a fundamental piece of news that could obviously alter the momentum of AMC. Now, what is likely to see and what we do want to see is obviously showing amc having good fundamentals and that's very likely to happen as we have seen previously and also adam aaron hinting about their sizable cash position so that's something we do want to see but something that could also happen is potentially even whilst there are good fundamentals we are seeing hedge funds going to be attacking amc to give off the appearance that amc is of course not doing well so tomorrow we have to really watch out in terms of the price if we are able to get a friday close above the zone it will be very good if we get another rejection we may be seeing this downward movement coming in back towards this 547 and 556 zone so something that's something we do have to watch out for but again stay very closely tuned to towards um, tomorrow's earnings. If we take a look at Abe on the other hand, so Abe right now up today 2.63%. And so we are closing above this 154 and 148 zone. So this is of course a very, very good close. We are still seeing sellers trying to prevent us from of course moving upwards. Right now what we want to see is breaking above that Monday high and closing above it, which is 157. And if you can close above um, today's high of 1.6 as well, it will still be a very, very good week for Ape. For Ape, what we're seeing is gonna be of course waiting for more news and on the conversion of Ape as that is the most important part now taking a look at some of the news now firstly we're going to be talking about in terms of this amc algorithm the 66 ema and the reason why i'm talking about this is firstly in previous videos we have talked about how currently in the daily time frame chart for amc the 666 ema is at ten dollars and we have seen how algorithms shows that they tend to push the price towards the 666 ema what we can see right here is another moment as we see the price hit 587 as you guys can see 5.87 5.87 and the price bounced back and this isn't the first time this has been highlighted and marked out for amc this is something that happens many many times for amc and so that's why i think it's a very good um indication on why a good example of why I showed of course in the previous video in terms of the 666 EMA in terms of daily time frame another thing to be looking at which is in regards to kind of the short-term target is the 666 EMA for four hours is six dollars and 45 so if we take a look at tomorrow and potentially seeing the price of course goes to six dollar and 45 which would be around a nine percent movement we'll obviously understand why but further than that is that if we do see it hit the 666 EMA it is just another confirmation of of course the price target of going to that ten dollars and the likelihood of it happening and that's something of course we do want to see now going on to more in terms of the ftds being reset and i think this is something that everyone is of course wondering so this is from christopher who talks about why are amc and ape ftds numbers lowered brokers market makers and hedge funds use buy right 
trades and married put to reset transactions to reset FTDs and avoid closing them out and locating shares for synthetic position from naked shorting. It's all outlined here. Now, all of this will be down in the description down below for you guys to, of course, go check it out yourself. Like I've always said, I want to make sure that I can relay the information to you guys, but I do not want to be stealing anyone's credit. You guys can see here, uh, Christopher talks more about here. Married puts being used to reset FTDs contrary to Retro 204. This is not a bona fide market making. Married puts used to fake locates. Like I said, all of this will, of course, be talked about. We have actually covered this in the past before, but this is just another detailed um, description. So again, Again, this is what's happening and that's why when you're looking at AMC FTDs go down when you're looking at AMC um, share somehow being located this is the reason of how they're doing it this is the method of how they're doing it and so this is what we obviously have to look out for now in terms of the hiding the buy orders for today what we can see here is how do they do a 500k trade at 595 when it didn't trade there today so what we can see is a trade for amc at 595 at 550,000. um however amc and this was before amc hit 595 so amc was not at 595 yet an order like that went through and so this obviously begs the question you know how are they doing this and why are they doing this why are they trading amc at a higher price than what it was at the current market Again, this just shows the desperation for the need of shares of AMC and how shorts are trying to, of course, buy AMC without people realizing this is something they're doing. But furthermore, onto that, what we can see here is someone's able to catch crime and just recently, and it's talking about there was an AMC sale for $6.02 with 75,000 share. However, whilst this order has actually gone through, it did not reflect on the actual market, meaning that it would not affect data. Normally, when we see a 75,000 share order go through, it is likely to be affecting the price. However, whilst this order did go through, whilst this transaction did actually happen, it did not hit the actual market, meaning it would not have done anything in relations to reflecting on the market to create any movements on the market. And so this is something that they are doing right now. But the more we see this, again, when we look at AMC, we understand that of course they try to prevent us from going above that 596 i've talked about how that is of course a pivotal zone if we take a look at it in previously in the past and we look at and highlight you know all of these zones this is something that they have of course reacted to it and that's why it's very obvious to see them of course trying to prevent this from breaking out uh, you know of certain zones and so when we take a look at this again this is something that they're doing and that's why when you're seeing People are buying to AMC, yet there is no movement. And again, going to tomorrow, which is very, very important because the earnings is out, is that potentially whilst there will be a good earnings, that might be the price going down. But that isn't because people are selling. That could be firstly, people are buying, but the buy orders are not reflecting the market. It's being rooted to the dark pools. But also hedge funds trying to give off the impression that even though it's good earnings, it is still the end game, it is still game over for AMC and they're trying to bring AMC down. So those are things that we definitely have to be looking out for. But like I said, AMC in terms of tomorrow, very, very exciting for, of course, the news. You know, something else, and this is in terms of everything that's happened with AMC. So this is a new AMC court letter and composes all the fuckery that apes have witnessed over the last 2.5 years. What a well-written letter in support of the RS and dismissal. The references are the FTX issue, FTDs, OBV volume, GameStop report, Red Show, articles, Citadel, Virtue, and BAC. Now, again, like I said, anyone can obviously take a look at all of this. And this is a very, very well-written article with all the references or a good, uh, very good letter. Well, we talked about everything and, you know, just some of the things you can talk about. But if you break down to everything that we see here, then it's very clear to us, it's very clear to the investors, why AMC is, of course, being suppressed to the price it is now. You know, firstly, we have talked about the OBV volume multiple times previously in the past. And again, that is just showcasing how it shows that buyers have never left AMC. Buyers are still here in AMC, yet we see the price go down. And again, if we go back to this, it then it's very clear, you know, the the um, link in between is that but yes buyers are here and there are still more buyers but they are not letting these buy orders hit the market they're not letting it reflect on the price which is why it's seeming like people are of course leaving amc they also talked about the red show which we have talked about in the past we also talked about in this video how of course they're using um, married puts to of course reset um, these transactions to make sure it they to get off the red show list to also get rid of the quote-unquote ftd star out there even though it is still the same ftds but they are just able to re 
set it. So, so many, so many things, you know, again, this, the red show relates, of course, to FTDs as well. So, so many, so many things for AMC and they're using so many dirty tactics, but we're definitely seeing the reversal of AMC right now, especially looking at where we are now. And anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press the like and subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys next time.